All right, the chip of the day is an ISL9N310AD3. Wow, what a long part number. Um, but it's just an FET. <laughs> it's just an N-channel FET. Um, and I don't know how I ended up with a hundred of them, but I've got a box of them. So uh, they are cute little. They are cute little parts. Uh, they are in a, something called a TO251 package, and that's the package there. It's a uh, gate drain source, and uh, it's meant to be soldered down to a, a PC board. And um, so let's talk about the specs here, though. It's a 30 volt part, 35 amps, and 70 watts. Um, in the data sheet, uh, it talks about putting it on a piece of copper. Okay, there's a graph in here. Uh, here's the graph. Let's see here if I can make it big. Come on, you can make it big. There it goes. Uh, so this is a graph of uh, the uh, degree C per watt when this thing is mounted on let's say one square inch of copper. So when you're laying out a PC board with these types of devices, oftentimes the, this, just the copper pour on the board is the heat sink. And this is the calculation for that. And so uh, we'll see how mine's constructed here a little bit. Um, so yeah, there's, cause there's not much heat sink on this little guy, although he doesn't need a lot of heat sink cause he's 0.008 ohms, which means there's not going to be much voltage drop on this guy, which means there's not going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of wattage, right? Um, so, um, let's go ahead and, um, see how I'm going to put this on a board. I'll put a picture here. It's a copper clad board. The part is soldered onto the copper, and then there's two isolation pads uh, for the gate and for the source. The drain is the same as the tab, okay? And so those uh, need to, the gate and the source need to be isolated from the big big piece of copper. All right. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hook this thing up and uh, try it out. Okay, so here's the, uh, here's the test setup that we have. I have my board here, and uh, it's connected to a 12 amp power supply, 12 volt, 12 amp power supply. I have a two watt, I mean a, a two ohm resistor. So two ohms, 12 volts, I'm gonna get six amps. So I'm gonna send six amps through, uh, through the circuit here. And I have a uh, uh, five volt put on the gate that will turn it on. Right now it's, it's, it's not on at all. And we will measure the voltage across the uh, two ohm resistor. And let me move around the camera, sorry. Um, all right, I think that's good there. All right, let me turn it on. And we can see that we have 11.9. And uh, I can't leave it on very long because that resistor starts to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> it gets really, really hot, really, really fast. And this guy just never gets above room temp. I mean, he's just cold, cold, cold. Um, so let's go ahead and do the math and see why, what, what's going on here. What, why can't that, that's a pretty beefy, it's a 20 watt resistor. That's pretty beefy. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not surprised this stays cool, um, but yeah, let's do the math. All right, let's do some numbers then. We had uh, six amps, right? And so we had 12 volts times six amps equals uh, 72 watts. 72 watts. So I had a uh, 20, watt, 20 watt resistor. <laughs> so yeah, that resistor was gonna fry any second. Um, that's why smoke was coming off of it. Uh, I looked over and went, oh, smoke, ah, turned it off. Um, yeah, uh, I couldn't figure out a good 12 volt load somewhere. I, I, I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I, I might have been able to hook something up, but I just wanted to do something quick. So anyway, we had, we had 72 watts going through that resistor. Now let's talk about the, um, let's talk about the, the actual device though. Um, we had six amps. Okay. Six amps. So we had 0 0.008 ohms. Okay. So, uh, power equals uh, 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 voltage 
times current, okay? But voltage is um, IR times another I, you get I squared R, okay? So the formula for um, power, if all you know is current and resistance, is I squared R. Well, what do we have? We have I squared. We have uh, 6 amps squared is 36. 36 times 0 0.008. Okay, let's do that. 36 times 0 0.008. We have 288 milliwatts. Okay, a quarter of a, quarter of a watt. Um, so very, very tiny amount of power in the actual uh, device itself. That's why these end channel FETs are so great, is you can get these uh, incredibly no, incredibly low resistance numbers. I mean, that's just, that's just craziness. That's, that's why I like these little parts. They're, they're a cute little part, they're tiny, they're easy to put on a board, um, and uh, yeah, they work great.